Hello, Sprigzar. I am here. Pop out chat. Let's do it that way. Hello, Mega Lego Guy 182. Hey, Vladimir. Hello, hello, Lego Freak. Enjoyed the stream last night, Lego Freak. And Creative Bricks. Brick Pasta, who was just over there. We just I just got off a, a live stream on Bricksmith's channel. We, he just ended that. Seismic Brick, Brick Man, Butt Chop. Hello, hello. Wayne Kenny, David Clancy, Franco RA. Hello again. Nintendo for Life. A lot of these people were over there on uh, Bricksmith's uh, live stream. So I'm, I'm going to be doing a collection update. Kind of a haul. I hadn't planned on doing any hauls yet, but I accidentally bought two Lego sets. <laughs> Uh, let's see who else is here. Hey, Bricksmith, I thought you were... Are you, are you eating dinner? <laughs> Lego man of the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. Briggs, are, are you getting late the Lego movie two sets? So far, we got one. I don't think you can see it. I got one right there. I actually already filmed a video, but the video will not be uploaded for a while. For a few days. Uh, see who else is here. Hey, Patrick Bowen, Lucas Nolan. Hey, you got the notification, says Se Seismic Brick. Got it. David Clancy said, Did you get a parcel I sent you? I don't think so. No, I, ha I just checked actually today. I got two things for Trains Are Fun, but nothing for here. Uh, and I know that the two for trains are was for two different people. I know. So, um, <laughs> Rick Smith says I could eat. <laughs> yeah. I accidentally, you accidentally bought two, huh? I actually had ordered Benny's space squad. That's what that set is right there. But I, um, it was on back orders. And that was it. I got that one at target. I just bought one, even though they had, they probably had 20 of them at this one target that I went to, but I only bought one. I was good. <laughs> and so uh, one of the things I bought today is I bought a notebook at the dollar store. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this notebook, and I'm going to document everything that I buy the whole year. I do have a few things that I purchased on eBay that were actually previous year for 2018. Uh, but I'm I'm not going to count that. And just everything that I actually paid for in 2019 is going to go in this notebook. And so so far, the only things that I've actually bought are the Benny Squad and then these two sets. And the video that they might be bricks and I did. I think it's the one we pub was it the one we published today? I think so. Um, so I wasn't going to pay full price for this, but I did. <laughs> And this. So they had the free promotion where you get your choice of a friend's pod or the fire thing. So I wanted to get that. And you only had to buy $25 worth. So I, this was this one. I forget. I think this is 25 and this is 15 and I had so that was forty dollars, but I used my VIP points. So I actually let's see if it shows on here. I don't know if it'll show up, but I paid ten dollars and seventy-five cents for these two sets, and actually these three sets. So. These are the two of the creator sets. When we were doing our video, we were most excited about these two. Um, so that's so I've, so I've bought four sets so far this year. I'm gonna set this over here. We're gonna build these later. If they might be bricks, was watching my video, he'd be down here right now. I need to text him. This is this is a uh, this is the modern age. I'm at home. I, I think he's home. I was home alone a minute ago. Let's see. I forgot how to do texting. Hold on. Down there. 
and then I'm going to see y'all's chat, and then we're going to do this box here. All right, who did I miss? Xander Bricks, hello. I'm doing good. Ryan Live Reviews, hello. Vladimir says you, you do that too, but then you lose track later in the year. Yeah, you got to keep your notebook with you. <laughs> this may be, I probably should have bought a, a smaller one, but not only am I going to keep track of what I buy, I'm going to keep track of what I sell. And I don't think anybody has ever done this on YouTube before. Um, I'm going to be completely transparent. I usually don't share the prices I pay for things. I uh, paid ten dollars. Paid full retail price for Benny Space Squad, so it was nine ninety nine plus the tax. I got to find the receipt. I think this tax was six percent there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep track of everything. And I've I've so far sold way more than I've spent, uh, but I still need to because I want to get the Vestas windmill and a bunch of other things. The corner garage, so I got to sell a lot more stuff. All right, okay. He he's not gonna be able to come down right now. Let's see. Oh, hey, Brick Princess. Hello. It, it's actually a little pricey for here. <laughs> and and I, I actually was going to wait till it goes on sale one day down the road a uh, couple of years from now or a year from now. But with the VIP points, I just went ahead and wasted those. All right. Adam Brick. Hello. Seismic Brick asks, any tips for how to take advantage of the post-holiday sales? Don't go. <laughs> Save your money. <laughs> Actually, you just, um, the way we've always done it is just, you never pass a store without stopping. And scan stuff. Because <laughs> sometimes the, the, the price is on sale and you don't know it because they don't have it marked. But um, Target. And Walmart are marking stuff down. All right, let's do this real quick. So y'all bear with me. I won't be looking at the chat for a minute or two. We're going to go what's in this box. This is box R10. And I'm going to do this as fast as I can. 40183, my sealed copy of the Bricktober sets. I'm trying to keep a sealed version of these to go along with the um, ones we built. 40182, the fire station. Trying to do it without the glare there. Sorry about that. The pizzeria, 40181. It's a lot faster this way. And then this is the theater, 40180. All right. And then we got a calendar in here. I think I, I might have pulled an extra. I had two of these in here. I think I decided to keep one. It is the calendar, 853195. And then the sealed tic-tac-toe. I got a used one of these somewhere. This is the sealed one. I don't even know. I guess it's uh, 4499574. 4499574. All right. And then our planet spheres, the sealed copies of these. I also built these. We got 9676. This is the special one because it actually has two different spheres because the Death Star. Where is it? Oh, I can't find it. Oh, there it is. The Death Star little thing. So all the other spheres, are just, there's two identical halves. We got 9674. Oh, and this is um, coincidentally while I'm holding this. So the guy in here, this little guy right there, I parted out Lego Hall number six on my channel. It's number six is where I bought a bunch of these at Target. And you're talking to that question earlier about after holiday sales. It's just like you go and you go and you go. And then one day Target decided to start putting hundreds of these on the shelves. Hundreds. I mean, they must have had a warehouse backlog somewhere. And it was like way, I mean, it's like entire shelves filled with just this set and i waited and i think until they were 60 percent off or is it 70 70 percent off they were 70 percent off and that's when i started buying them so i bought a bunch of them over 300 of them and i parted them out still got most of the spheres but this 
today I had two different orders for the headpiece. I parted the minifigure out. The legs sold a long time ago, but this he's got this little brown helmet. It's been in my store. Somebody bought 50 of them, and then I when I was doing the Bricksmith video, I had to count out 250 of his little helmet, uh, the Nabu Pilot. So but that was two... Um, 250 and one, 300 or 50 and those. I sold 300 of his, <laughs> his helmet. I still got 23 left in my store if anybody wants one. All right, 9675 Sabulus Pod Racer. We got 41103. What is this doing in here? Pop Star Recording Studio. Um, we got 3933. Olivia's invent. I think Olivia is my favorite friend because she's like science. I only believe in science and I love all the orphans. 7949. This is the prison carriage rescue. I'm pretty sure we did a video on this. This is a sealed one. And here is one of the monster fighters, the mummy, mummy. 9462 with the glow in the dark horse. And here's a sealed Atlantis set. 8057. Pretty sure I did a video on this one because it's got the shark dude in it. All right. I, I used to like these little... These, these would be poly bags today, but I used to like it when they put them in boxes. Here's the pig farmer. This is classic. 7566 <laughs> pig farmer. Here's another great one. The joust. The castle uh, theme. Joust. I'm, did I say joust? I can't talk. Sorry. Jester. I don't know why I was thinking Jester. 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 <laughs> 7953. All right. I got to figure out how I put all this other stuff in here. We got the Crazy Contraptions book. I don't know if this has a number. It's Crazy Action Contraptions. It's got the little tip there. We have a clock. The Lego alarm clock. Nine zero zero two one six eight. All right, what am I going to put in here? I'm going to get some more of these box sets here. We got a Ninjago set here. Nine five six nine. Why did I buy this? There's another sealed set. Eight three five eight. It's a little smashed. This is a bad sub theme of racers. These were bad racers. Here's Emma Emma Splash Pool. What number is that? 3931. Three, Enough said. Garbage dumpster. <laughs> 5611. Another chicken guy. I think I had one of these in the other container. 5004468. Stephanie's Outdoor Bakery. 3930. Here's an old one. This is probably the oldest one in the box. It's from 1988, a basic building set, 1495. I don't know. I don't know what side's the front. Right. I'll look at the chats. I'm almost done. I'm going to go knock through some of these other sets here. All right, this is a used set. It's the bike burner, Technic. Eight two three six. Eight two three six. There's another used set. Eight eight three two. Little go kart looking thing. Now a bunch of poly bags. Another Lego Universe guy. I should sell some of these. I didn't realize I had extras in there. This is uh yeah the exclusive astronaut. Three zero two five zero. Thirty seven thirty six. Guess what that is? It's train doors. Thirty seven thirty six. Uh, here's some. This is another Technic service pack five two seven eight little Technic links for the. Oh, I got two of those five two seven eight. Those were for making roller coasters. Here's another Max Lego Club Max eight five two nine nine six three zero one zero five. This is. I don't know what it is. Uh, there's a stormtrooper dude. Five zero zero one seven zero nine. We got three zero one six seven. One of the Iron Man sets. We got 
another Brickmaster 20012. Let's see if I can get this where you can see. It's a Bionicle one. A balloon! 40108. McDonald's set number, I don't know what this is. 1995. Astronaut. Oh, there's the white astronaut. 2855028. Another Brickmaster set we haven't opened. Actually, I think I got another of these. 20014. Here's a little, I think this is Explorians. I can't remember. 6815. I think there was another one of those in here. Here's the uh, bowling alley. 30399. A friend's not for sale. So it says <laughs> six zero zero six one three nine best friends BF. Oh, look, another one of these five six one ones. Uh, I didn't know I had another one, I should have put it with that one. A Chima set seven zero 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 Rascals glider. Another accessory pack. 5309 train base. 5128. It's like the uh, translucent colors. I think this might have been for the underwater theme. I don't know. I can't remember. This one is 2047. And this one is 2025. I'm going by the other. I could be wrong on those numbers, but that's what it says on the back. 6815. I got another one of these. I got two of those. Oh, can't, what number is this? 6835. Did I do a video on that? I don't know. And then here's a sandcastle. 30100. I can't see it good. Don't know. These are ones I probably did videos on a long time ago. 30116-6658. This is an old city dump dump truck. I mean, not dump truck, um, like a bulldozer. Got a sealed one of these. 40109, the Mini Cooper. Almost done. Oh, I need to build this shark. Three, uh, 7805, a shark. And what is this? It's one of These are one of the new ones. Five zero zero four four eight. Oh, I got one here. Ronald McDonald, two zero three two. I think that was everything for that box. So I can close that up, get it out of the way. And now I can look at you guys. Thank you for putting up with me. If you've been in the chat and I haven't been talking to you, I'm shaking the camera. Hold on a minute. Thing, so shake it. Okay. All right, I'm back. All right, so that was box R10. And so um, I'll go, what I'll do is actually I'll go through later and watch the video <laughs> and input the stuff on the brick set, and then I'll know how many I got. I'm up over 1,400 sets that I've inventory doing this. All right, what have I missed in the chat? <laughs> hey, Floris Bros. Thank you. It says, always... Nice looking at the amazing stuff. Good evening, Elk LP. Franco RA says, do you have the Nestle Bunny? Yes, I have two versions of the Nestle Bunny. One's kind of half a bunny. is in a little car, and then I got the full version. I don't have the actual set that he came in. Um, Just Too Good got the actual um, promotional set that was boxed, which was pretty cool. That's, that's almost impossible to find. Uh, hey, Adam. Hello. Flash Pants. Hello. How many boxes do you have to go through? Um, so we did P's up to what? 40 something, maybe 30 something. 50. Um, <laughs> we got a lot more. It's not. I am nowhere close. Uh, to going through all this. 
And as the, the more we go through it, though, it's going to get a little harder because we'll start getting to more and more of the used items and the stuff that's been put in other boxes, like all the Star Wars stuff that they might be bricks built. And then we put in a box somewhere and the minifigures are separated from them. A lot all the city sets that we built that used to be in the city and they're in boxes or in sterilite containers now. And they've been separated. Uh, some of these, uh, the stuff that's on the shelf over there. So not everything might not get on boxes. I might have to start doing things by like shelf. Like I'm going to rearrange some of the shelves and I might just have, okay, this shelf, this level. In fact, I'm going to inventory these that we're keeping up here on the shelf behind me. I'm, I've been ad actually adding some of them to brick set. The ones that I've actually reviewed, I'm going to go ahead and put on brick set and just say it's on the shelf, <laughs> the shelves or the shelf. And so uh, I'll know where that is. So I got a bunch of sets on here. I don't know if I've entered all these into brick set or not. And I still got to put General Grievous stickers on them up there. All right, let me get back to the chat. Thank you, Nathaniel. Says so saw the Skylo review. Says Ninja Tank says, how many of the Lego Movie 2 sets with Benny and the classic spaceship will you get? I'm probably going to get at least two. So when they first were on the Lego.com website, I ordered two, which was the limit, but those never came. And then I had the opportunity, if I had wanted or had the funds, I could have bought a bunch of them, but I only bought one when I went to Target. Um, I would like to have a bunch of them, not to resell, to keep. <laughs> And, um, but I'm just, we'll just see how it goes this year. At least 10. But I told Lego Freak last night I'd buy a hundred of them if I, if I had the means to do it. <laughs> Rick S says, do you have the 2181 Infomaniac Polyac bag? I don't have the poly bag, but I have the Infomaniac that was in the poly bag. It'd be nice to have the actual poly bag with it. That was one of those things when um, They Might Be Bricks was younger and he was really into Lego Island. Uh, I did. That's one of those things I went on BrickLink looking for because it was it was hard to find <laughs> the Infomaniac from uh, the poly bag, but we did. I didn't buy a sealed one. I bought a used one. Um, and you know, I bought Pepper. I wish I had bought more of the, the Lego Island Extreme Stunts get, uh, sets. I didn't get many of those. Did uh, Adam Brick says, did you build the DB5? No, I did not. It's around here somewhere. So I'm going to build that one night, like if we're watching Smallville or something. I, I think I've mentioned it before, but I never watched Smallville when it was out. And we just started watching it, and I was like, I don't know why I didn't watch it. It's been actually a pretty good series. So usually at night before we go to bed, we'll watch one or two episodes, depending on how early we got to wake up the next day. And sometimes I'll build something while we're watching. <laughs> hey, President, sad. I think they will. D Darius Horwart says, do you think they'll make any more space sets for Lego Movie 2? They got a lot of sets that haven't been, they haven't shown the images of yet that are coming out. Hello, LG. <laughs> says, how many of those shirts do you have to wear for your videos? We do wash it. <laughs> this is the only one like this that I have, but I have, I, you know I thought of this, actually thought of this today, and this is probably not related to what you're asking, but I thought about doing the challenge. Like I'm, I have a challenge where I want to do, have a video review uploaded every single day for 2019. What I should have done is in every video be wearing a shirt, but always be a different shirt and see how many videos I could go wearing a different shirt before I had to wear another one. Cause I do not know how many shirts I have. Um, I'm sure because I got like 20 something through uh, and it wouldn't have necessarily be a Lego shirt. I'm just saying like a different shirt, <laughs> different T-shirt. I probably got at least a couple hundred shirts. Is that you? Yeah. Hey, come on down here. People probably want to see you. Huh? 
Do live stream? Yeah, I was doing. I did this box here. What's in there? Uh, just the old sets. Where's the? Where's the? Old? I just got out of the shower. <laughs> You're all clean. Yeah. So <gasps> you saw that already? Oh, this is. You didn't see this? Just the picture. Ooh. So I'm gonna build this. Can I build this? Yeah, you can build that. So. Space mm. shuttle. And this guy has an axe. I like that. Axe. He's got mayonnaise. We've always got the oh, we've always got ketchup and mustard. Finally, we get the mayonnaise. I'm so glad. See, look, look, they showed the jet from that other creator set that okay. just came out. You know. Okay, but oh, yeah, the, this is what he noticed. I didn't notice it. Look, you see, there's, there's the jet from the new creator set, and look at that launch pad. I want them to make that launch pad. I'm hoping that means they're going to make another one. Hey, everyone. <laughs> That one looks kind of small. But good. still, I would love them to make another one. Yeah. Then the, uh, Nintendo for Life says, Briggs, how do you... I know you never use LDD, but do you think LEGO should support it again? It's useful. Uh, I just don't think they are invested into supporting it, but I think BrickLink is going to have their kind of version of it <laughs> that they're trying to in integrate where people can... Submit their designs and then people can buy the parts. In fact, I it's so easy. I'll give you an example. There's a guy that made a a locomotive. He has the parts list on Bricklink. It's free to download the parts. I mm -hmm. mean, I went on there, saved it to my wanted list. Now my wanted list has like 1,800 parts in it to build this locomotive. But it it was amazing because when it did that, I could see how many of those parts I had in my store. Mm -hmm. And uh, I could actually get a lot of the parts for that that custom, and it, I didn't have to go buy it from them. And yeah. it was just freely available. So it, I don't, it's not the same as LDD, but it's similar, I think. The brick link thing. Yeah, the brick link thing. Look, someone said, "Do you think we could see Intron or Blacktron again?" I would love to see that. I didn't they put that. a Blacktron in yeah. that holiday set? I can't remember, but I want to see regular Tron. <laughs> and then Mardi Gras Man was like, what are your thoughts? Uh, what are your thoughts on a new creator amusement ride if they're going to make one, I guess? I want them to make, you know, the, uh, the uh, what was it called at Six Flags? The Log Flume? No, oh, that would actually be a really cool <laughs> set. <clears throat> but I feel like they wouldn't do it like how it should be. But yeah. uh, what was it called? I can't remember. <laughs> What it could it's it's where uh it's where uh skyscreamer is now. Skyscreamer. Remember, oh it, wheelie. Yes, the wheelie. Like one of those. They're called and they're called Enterprise and Real. Oh, okay. the model is called Enterprise. Yeah. I look oh <laughs> Sheila L Art just did a twelve dollar super chat. Thank you. Thank you. That that pays for our sets that we bought today. <laughs> I spent ten dollars and seventy five cents on these three sets. And you just paid for them for us. So we are going to so cool. review that. He's going to build the space shuttle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to build the shark and probably the fireman. And we'll have video reviews of these up. I'm trying to talk him into doing more of these reviews with me. Oh, I need your help. Yeah. All right. So I'm I'm going to do Star Wars month. I actually did a review of a Star Wars set, but mm -hmm. it's going to be posted this month. But I'm thinking in December. Would, would that be a good month to do Star Wars? Month? This December, yeah, that'd be perfect because that's yeah. when the movie comes out. So we got a bunch of sets that you built and mm -hmm. Jonathan built that we never reviewed. So will you help me review those? Mm -hmm. And we can go ahead and get those uploaded for December. Yeah, that should be a good idea. Because <laughs> I'm not worried about like, I know a lot of times you got to, with YouTubers, they want to like, get the video up as soon as they can and all that but i'm like it doesn't matter anymore 349 days 14 hours 48 minutes and 17 seconds <laughs> until star wars counting them down you must have an app adam but thank you so much sheila uh, for paying for our sets here and we got i got eight reviews i've done already and after we get done with this live stream brick vibes about to do one at seven we'll probably just end this in a few minutes here mm -hmm. But um, I'm going to probably start building on these so I can film some videos of this stuff and some of the other stuff that we bought. I got the Lego store. I got all the vintage stuff I've never reviewed. Got all the Star Wars stuff for December. And I'm, I wanted to do February for train month, but I may not be able to get all the trains built by then. Whoa. What? You can see Benny's spaceship 
But look at all those other spaceships. Oh, in the background? They look different. Oh, there's like a bunch of them stacked up. That looks Ready cool. to launch. We'll probably see that in the movie. Hopefully. Yeah. Maybe like each of them has their own ship. Yeah. Awesome. Vinny's spaceship is still probably one of the coolest Lego movie sets. Hey, you guys, a sneak peek for my next video. This is like the third video in a row you've done a sneak peek. <laughs> so Luke Brick says, what about a May 4th for a Star Wars review? We That's could, a good yeah, idea. We could do. So what, what would be a good set to do on May 4th? Probably the Death Star. The big Death Star with all the figures in it. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm gonna try. One of the things I'm gonna try to do is reassemble the Death Star Two. Mm -hmm. That's going. That one's gonna be hard. <gasps> oh, that that thing's massive. That thing's like that wide. I found the box that's got some of the parts to oh, it. Man. So we gotta. We gotta. I stole some of the parts from it a while back when we were building something else, and I don't remember what those parts were. So I got to do the inventory. But that's it, which is going to be hard, because what is it, like 3,000 people? Hey, double-decker couch. Oh, my goodness. Buy some more Brickzar Classic Spaceman. <laughs> yeah, I, that was the only thing about this set, is we didn't get a red one. Mm -hmm. um, I do have some faded torso uh, that we did. I did buy last year. Uh this, this figure's got a really good printing on it. Yeah, I tried to save well, some of the good The more I, I have to, I, I have to remember not to grab it by the torso because you you mess them up. But same with this one. But if I touch it too much, it'll, it it wears the printing off. I want to thank you so much, Double Decker Couch, and mm -hmm. you know he he gave us a donation at the end of the year, and we were gonna go. Um, I want to go to. There's a restaurant. Here in Atlanta, that we like, mm -hmm. I like, well, I like, and your sister likes. It's called, um, um, <laughs> I got distracted by another super chat. <laughs> it's the beer garden. Yeah, that's a good It's restaurant. a German we restaurant. We haven't been there in forever. And I wanted to go and take the whole family, him, my wife, my daughter, and her husband, and go there. And that would be perfect because they have a platter mm -hmm. that we can all get and share. And, um, but we weren't, something came up on the day we were going to go and we weren't able to go. So we're trying to work our schedules, but that's going to be a, um, thanks to double decker couch. Now, yeah. The real Zekron. He Wait, says vintage review, 90, 90s pirates or space, please. Or actually that was, uh, space. The, the P means like, oh, you're sticking your tongue. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, like, I, I can't do, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I know what you mean. Do you play Fortnite? I used to. Yeah. So, what's have? Are there any vintage? He said vintage or nineties pirates. Hmm. Do I have any nineties pirates that we haven't reviewed? What What was the not, pirates in the nineties? What era was that? Like, That's what? Black Seas Barracuda, Skulls Eye, Sco Skulls Eye Schooner, uh, El Dorado Fortress. Okay. Yeah. Don't we have the El Dorado Fortress? We got one. Of, there's two big. Fortress it's the sets. white one. Where is no, it? No, there's two white. There's one that, that I got the box for the Imperial Trading Post, but I don't have the set. Okay, that's, that's the, box. the one I was thinking of. Oh, let me go get it. That's a good one. What are your favorite Lego trains? They might be bricks. Definitely Metro Liner and uh, Horizon Express and Emerald Knight. I wish they'd make a Batman train. That'd be cool. Do you think Lego will ever come out with an inverted corner modular building set? That would be awesome. They need one. We that, were, when yeah. we were rearranging our city, that we we're like, if we just had two cor inverted corner modulars, I may build perfect. my own one day. Yeah. So this is the box. That's the of, big one for the Imperial Trading Post. This is this and El Dorado Fortress were actually pretty cool. <coughs> uh, I bought this. Where did I buy this at Walmart? All right. So this. Yeah, it's Walmart. It's got a Walmart sticker. So <clears throat> I bought this. I think it was a return because I bought it and it was missing so many pieces. It wasn't even funny. Because of the pirate ship. I think it had, I think I had the base plates and some of the, I think I had the big base plate, but I was not able to build it. I wish I could release sets like this. And now I don't know where all the parts, and I think I used the parts to finish out other sets. Mm-hmm. So this is just an empty box. This I wish I could review this set for you, but I don't have it. Yeah. 
I want to find the El Dorado Fortress. I know we got it. And we combine both of them. Like, if we ever have an ocean in our Lego city, we got to put those two. Pretty sure I didn't sell the El Dorado Fortress. I don't Fortress. think you did. All right, what else did I miss? Well, thank you so much for that super chat. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the Lego Movie 2 Wizard of Oz CMF? I like the Tin Man and Scarecrow. I do. I like all the Wizard of Oz figures. I want to get. I never got any of the monkeys. I like the watermelon. What's that? What's, it was the Batman set. Yeah, the, the big monkey. Batmobile. It's on. It was on sale, and I didn't. I like. I, uh, I liked. Uh, did you ever watch Lois and Clark? <laughs> did you? <laughs> that and, and this is what. Okay, before you came down here, I was talking about how we like to watch Smallville before oh, yeah. we go to bed, and I was like, sometimes I like to get a set out or something, mm -hmm. be working on it, and. I said I never watch Smallville, but guess what? I almost always watch Lois and Clark. Now I feel so dumb. Oh my goodness! I think Smallville is a lot better than Lois and Clark. Smallville is probably one of the greatest superhero shows. And I don't know if I watched it because Terry Hatcher, or did I watch it because it was good? I can't remember. Uh, what were we saying before that? Did I ever watch? Uh, no, uh, Lois and Clark. I, no, it was before that. I can't remember what it was. Okay. Let's see. I have not got the creator boathouse, says Galligate. The, oh, yeah. The, the uh, CMF series. Uh, I like the watermelon and the giraffe because the giraffe reminds me of the Toys, Toys R Us. Yeah. And the watermelon's just, I like that. Yeah. I like the series. I really do. Oh, thank you. Wow, Sheila did another one. <laughs> thank you so much, Sheila. I really appreciate that. Um, Watching Back to the Future again. Oh, you right are now. heavy. I yeah. want them to make more Back to the Future. What is, is the gravity messed up in the future? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything's heavy. <laughs> hey, Trix Brooks. Oh, wow. This has been awesome. So um, I have, uh, we will be reviewing stuff every day. I need to, uh, I need to have like most days when I have downtime, I need to film like three videos. Mm hmm and then I schedule those out. And so now y'all have given me, this is my notebook for keeping track. I need another notebook for keeping your requests. I need to write these down. Make 2019 the buy the most Lego ever year. No. From the real Zekron. <laughs> well, if y'all keep... <laughs> it was supposed to be the buy the least Lego... <laughs> Y'all are making it hard. They should have made Doc Brown's garage. That would actually have been one of the real That would have been a really that's a good idea. They should have done it. So he wants pirates in space. How about pigs in space? Pigs in space. You may remember that. Am little I, guys in space. No, pigs in space. You know, you know where you know where he got little guys in space mm -hmm. from. Where? Pigs in space. I yeah, guess. Muppets. Yeah. And Sheila L. Art says, keep doing reviews. What was the other one we got? <laughs> the real Zekron did two. Sheila did two. Double decker. This is a 90s Double Pirates decker. one. Double decker couch. All right, so when I get done, we'll have 300 and, at least 365 reviews unless something happens. So we got three sets here. Um, you're going to help me with the Star Wars stuff. Mm -hmm. we, okay, what what did we decide for May 4th? What will be the, the Death Star? The Death Star. And you could do an update on the big Death the uh, Death Star 2. Death Star. Start <laughs> getting Death Star 2. That's funny when you told me when you first watched Return of the Jedi, you thought that the Death Star hadn't blown up all the way. Yeah, okay, this is a uh, true story. That's It's crazy, though. That's what the first shot what? of the movie was. Another Death Star. Yeah, so when... When... What was it... Return of the Jedi. 1983. Right. Not, not, um, they didn't have the Death Star in Empire. Empire no, right? that was just the Superstar story. Right. So when, when Return of the Jedi came out, when I was 15 years old, I thought that the Death Star didn't blow all the way up. Mm -hmm. I didn't know they had started building another one. They didn't explain that in the movie. And I didn't know all the, I didn't read the books or anything. So I actually thought that, it just didn't blow all the way up. I was like, what? They didn't finish the job? It looked like it blew up in the movie, Chrissy but I was movie. wrong. This is Chrissy. Hey, Chrissy. You always want to be in the videos. <laughs> you go purse somewhere else. All right, what did we miss? 
Happy Brick. Hello. That's a, they said Great Scott. That's a uh, <laughs> back to back Peter. future reference. Hey, Trick Bricks. Review Viewer of the day. day. Rad. <laughs> That's a good idea. Rad. Trick Bricks. Review a day. I had another idea. See, see what you think of it. When it gets warmer and the day and day the days get longer. I wanted to do Rob. Do you know what Rob stands for? What? Like I <laughs> reviews on a bike. Like you're riding a bike. Riding a bicycle. Oh. Reviewing a set. <laughs> you should do the Death Star review on a bike. Oh my or goodness. Dark Mall. Oh that's what we should do. Can you ride a bike and carry a set? Oh my god, that'd be so bad though. Well, like imagine if you're carrying General Grievous. And I start with the small sets, but um, I would probably certainly break it. Is that something y'all would want to see? Donation for 12 volt signals from Irwin. Whoa, uh, Irwin. That's a good idea. 12 volt signals. I did say I want more of those because so I'm going to have a train month. I'm, I'm not sure which month it is, but I'm going to do where every review that's the morning review will be something with the train. So the 12 volt signals, uh, inter. Uh, there, there's um, some other accessories that are from the 12 volt line in any of the train sets I forgot to review. Mm -hmm. um, 12 volt signals. Thank you so much. This is awesome. I don't. I don't know what the. Um, oh, Sheila said she saw the Clark Tower at Universal Studios. Oh yeah, that, that, that must be. Is, the, it, is it still set up? I think that's the one at the. Uh, the one in California. Yeah, she's out. That she's out west. It's because don't, they don't have. Don't, and don't, I'm sorry. I keep it makes the camera vibrate. <laughs> they they don't have the Back to the Future stuff in one in Florida anymore. Mm -hmm. so. They took it out. Says Crew Drone says yes, that would be totally rad. Watching you ride a bike and reduce it. <laughs> we should at least try it. I, I, I'd be afraid to do it with like the um, Imperial Star Destroyer. Do it holding like a whole train, like all the Horizon Express. <laughs> Like we should take something. Dangling like a snake. I need to take something we got duplicates of. Mm -hmm. Like I have, uh, I think the um, we got two of the uh, the the van there, mm -hmm. the camper van. So I'd be all right if one of them broke. I've actually broke a lot of this stuff. I broke the beetle. What else did I drop? Oh, we got to do the bat. This set the bat pod. Uh, there's a lot of things we have not actually done videos on that we have. I, I, I y'all, I want to thank you. I want to thank everybody that's here in the chat, those that have done the super chat, because this is helping me get motivated to do yeah, this. I, I feel really good because I, I was actually to the point where I just like I didn't really care to do reviews, but <laughs> having up. this it's made me want to do it again. Ninja Tanic, hold the UCS Millennium Falcon while riding the bike down a hill. <laughs> you want to? <laughs> I have to go buy it first. Yeah. Uh, but look at that. I got I'm getting a whole list of ideas and. So we're good now. <laughs> Mardi Gras Man says, now rad. That was a great movie. <laughs> Mini Brick Productions is here. Hello. <laughs> what is your rarest set, says Climate Change? I have... Um, I don't know what's like the rarest, but I do have sets... That I never see for sale ever anywhere, mm -hmm. and one of them's that remote. You remember the remote control car from the sixties? Yeah, it had the mechanical steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Now that one's pretty set three eleven. That one's pretty rare. I love the blue. Thank you, Florist Brothers. <laughs> and then you know, see, that's what I thought about the Mardi Gras man says a bike riding challenge. No hands and build a poly bag. That's dangerous. I, the, the the problem is, you could do it. Holding, I mean, if you could get the pieces, but you you're going to drop pieces. There's so many challenges to it. So a small poly bag, it might take a long time to do it because mm -hmm. you might drop a piece and have to go back and get the piece. Yeah, like you built. Did you build this in the bag? That this would probably this. Yeah, no, I didn't build that. this. This would have been a build in the bag candidate though. But he's talking about build on a bike. Oh man! While you're riding the bike, so imagine you're taking it out. And you're assembling it, so you get, so you ride no hands. That's not a problem, but you got to hold the bag 
to pieces. Skier. You could probably set a tr uh, something up on the bicycle that's mm -hmm. like a little tray to hold stuff. It's got a lip off. to keep it from falling off. And then you just, you have the instructions taped to the bike. Mm -hmm. um, and then you, um, yeah, that's a good idea. We should try that. Build on a bike. Challenge. I have no, we y'all have no shortage of ideas. This is amazing. <laughs> if you, it, okay, so Nintendo for Life asks, would you like to see your favorite movie in Lego? Like if they made a, like, you know, the Lego. Bill and Ted in Lego? Yes. Tron in Lego? Because yes. you get Tron sets. You yes, get back absolutely. To, you get Bill and Ted sets. Absolutely. Hey, new storyteller. What did he say? He said, I missed his request. I didn't see it. Hey, there's who doesn't love trains. Hello. <laughs> oh, and I could get exercise on top of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have to go. Yeah. Um, I want to thank everybody. Thank you, Real Zekron, Sheila L. Art, Double Decker Couch, and Erwin. What was his name? Erwin oh, Ealing. Ealing. Thank you. So. I've got I've wrote I've wrote down what y'all requested and we're gonna uh, work on that and this is yeah this is our goal have a video review every single day all 365 days mm -hmm. uploaded for 7 a.m each day and then all these other things will be in the afternoon whether it be the a challenge or little live streams like this. Usually on Wednesdays or Thursdays, we will do the live streams. <laughs> Look at that tiny little satellite. It's only got it's one. Pathetic. It's only got one solar panel. That's hilarious. I love. Let's it. go build these and go eat dinner with mom. So hungry. she's bringing some stuff in. I think you can go help her. Yes. Uh, All right. Okay. Uh, thanks for the stream, Timmy B and Brixar, Franco R A. Thank you for watching. All right. Oh, and uh, new storyteller. I got a letter in, in the mail. I haven't opened it yet, um, but I did get your letter. I should tell you that. Also, guys, if you haven't heard already, I'm going to do a sneak peek video of, of an actual video. I, uh, you want that just to be the running joke the rest of the year? Sneak peek. Day 365. But it's so awesome. <laughs> do a video. And All right. look, Superman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want thank you. And you, and you, and you, and you. Build a Lego set on a skateboard while doing Awesome. Trips. I could do that. We could do that. I could build a Lego set while, while riding a skateboard. Yes. So you, Lego we, we got ideas for the summer. This is going to be great. I need to quit my job. If I need to, I need I to quit my job too. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys and gals. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay, I'll see you guys.